you're, you're, you're neither male nor female, right? That's true. I identify as non-binary, right. which means I'm neither male nor female, and but correspondent to that, I use the they, them pronoun. And you say gender roles are, are damaging our society, so we need to think very carefully about language, yeah? Yes. So a lot of our social selves are codified and cultured in the language that we use. We really use it to construct our entire society. And what's certainly true is that there is a huge variance of gender presentation and gender identity within humankind. There isn't simply humankind, men is that, and yeah. women. If you are confused about your sexuality or gender in this culture, you are worshipped. But if you cling to God's objective standard for how he designed men and women, you're called a bigot. While those from secular culture are content with calling the other side names, as Christians, that's not what we should be resorting to. I believe that we're commanded to speak the truth in love. And yes, there's all this confusion with pronouns and sexuality, but I think our mission as Christians is to engage the culture, speaking truth in love, pointing people to God's objective truth and how God designed us. You can do that lovingly. Yes, people may not agree. When we step away from our own distorted perspectives of what love looks like and we look into the Bible to biblical love, we find out that actual biblical love is speaking the truth to somebody even when it may offend them. This kind of cultural engagement is so necessary for Christians today. We should not be withdrawing from the culture when we see this kind of craziness going on, but rather Go into it, engage the culture with love. Because people like this don't leave their confusion to themselves. Actually, they're leading a lot of other young teens down this path to be confused about their gender and sexuality. They're finding community in this confusion. How they feel about their gender and sexuality doesn't need to be the defining point of their lives. While Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life, he shines light into the confusion, into the darkness. In Christ, we are all made new. Follow for more.